Hi, my name is Subhash and welcome to the painting tutorial. Today we are going to do a seascape with shape and for this painting I am going to use acrylic colors. It's going to be a fun painting and the canvas size is so small so it will not take a lot of time. Keep watching, stay tuned. So let's begin with the sketch and for this I have taken one reference photograph of a ship. So I am not using any grid technique for this sketch. Uh, I just try to measure uh, the dimensions and the location of the ship on the canvas based on the size and I'm doing free hand sketching for this so in this painting we are going to show a old ship which is kind of near to the beach and a seascape some mountains the 16 inch by 12 inch canvas I have done many seascapes before that for the painting we are using titanium white burn umber turquoise blue ultramarine blue cadmium yellow we started with the sky and for this i am using turquoise blue ultramarine blue some burn umber and the sky will have some clouds and some different shades it's not a plain and simple sky so acrylic as you know dries very fast so you have to be very very fast with the blending and I'm using some fingers to blend the color this is the not the final layer I'm going to do one more layer on top of it so you started with one number mixed with the Persian blue or the ultramarine blue uh, representing the black shade uh, on the sky full of clouds and you know a rainy atmosphere that is what I'm trying to paint using flat brush for uh, this portion so this is basically you know based on what you want to see in a sky different tones and uh, different colors I'm using you can mix here some magenta to give more interesting colors in the sky or red or yellow it's like the what kind of atmosphere that you want to create uh, in the seascape i'm using white to highlight the some of the clouds and then i'll do further detailing As I said, like I have done several seascapes before, and there are a couple of uh, videos are already available uh, on my seascape. But here in this painting, my focal point or the uh, the the focus area will be the ship, and that two old ship which rusted and like give the an impression of. You know, it's a lost shift. You 
we are almost done with the sky and I use some final strokes and blending uh, to merge the colors uh, in the sky and for this I will be using my fingers or a piece of cloth to further blend it I started with the far hand far end mountain using bar number Persian blue or tip of Persian blue uh, then detailing will be done with some even darker tone what you can see now for the mountain this this stone is basically darker than the sky but it's going to be lighter than the water and the ship so that it will appear as uh, it's far away from the ship as an object now you can see one more layer of the mountain or some you can say the trees uh, with dark version so th this is the third layer first is sky second is your mountain and the third is uh, this portion and then will come to the ship using some detail on the mountains with bit darker tones but relatively lighter than the the tree portion or the darker portion you can see appearing so it gives the kind of depth to the uh, painting and the, you can see like the sky is lighter than bit darker tones for the mountain and then darker tone for the, the trees I started with the ship for the entire ship I'll be using a yellow orker a burnt umber orange some portion of the Persian blue uh, to darker the tone so front part the projection part will be a bit lighter and then the back back side of the ship will be more darker tone. so i'm getting you know tones correct uh, first and then i'll move to the detailing of the sheet and uh, you can see my brush brush strokes uh, those are going as per the kind of so, uh, the dimensions of the sea is a uh, ship uh, trying to kind of block the ship first with these colors which I told bird umber, Persian blue, orange, yellow ochre, and white. I'm using white on the projection part of the ship and using you know darker tones uh, backside of the ship so that it uh, will appears the ship is like coming towards the beach and you can mind the the strokes as well you know these are kind of horizontal strokes which I applied which are kind of bold strokes now I'm doing some portion of the ship uh, again it is kind of with bone number and mix of some Persian blue to darker the tone so now if you can see the sky then the mountain and then the trees and then the ship so you can observe the values of the colors are kind of becoming more uh, stronger as it is coming uh, near to you okay so you have to keep this in mind to give them you know depth in the painting doing some texture work with the brush so that it will appear the different spots on the uh, ship because of the rust and the kind of dust uh, after it get aged in, in the water 
orange burn umber if you mix it gives the kind of rusty color and and just one tip of the red color in it started with some detailing i'm trying to capture the lines first okay and for this you know I'm using ultramarine blue persian blue for number the mixture lightening down the tones as and when it is required darkening uh, the tones whenever it is required you might have observed this stick which i always use in my paintings to draw the straight line or give the base to hand to the hand while uh, the surface of canvas is wet and you don't want to disturb any colors there so i take the support of this stick to paint adjusting the ship a bit with relevant color tones majority of it is like yellow ochre orange and one umber I started with the beach part of it, the land, uh, using burn umber and yellow ochre in majority, and some Persian blue to give the some detailing. Because this portion of painting is very near to you, and then the ship, and then plant, uh, the trees, and then mountain, and then the sky. So I'll be using more darker tones here. this area started with the water so i'm trying to draw the flow of the water the the waves actually so i'm giving those highlights with the darker tone and i'll fill uh, the water with ultramarine blue turquoise blue uh, some portion of white and i'll keep on adjusting it this water is going to be a interesting part of this painting i have to show the flow of the water and some uh, waves and direction so for that i'll be doing couple of layer when i paint the water i'm trying to get the shadow of ship in the water too with ultramarine blue and burn umber you can see different tones which i am trying to inject in this painting to give the you know flow of water or there is a kind of force in it okay it is it's like not very straight forward method that you have to apply but as i said i have done several seascapes so i know like how and where uh, which colors to mix to give the more realistic look of the water you can see uh, the sea uh, appears far end is like more darker and uh, near to beach uh, it's more lighter so it gives a depth okay so it shows that you know the view is like very deep view you can see it on here i'm putting some tones of the blue in between <coughs> 
readjusting the area of beach this or so sea area or the sea it's basically more practice you do more uh, control you will have uh, painting the water okay so water painting a water you do remember the flow which direction the waves are coming which direction the stroke should go mostly it's horizontal uh, but you have to pro give some unstructured or not very symmetric uh, uh, distance between the waves okay otherwise it will look very odd so you have to uh, keep very unstructured uh, distance should be different uh, between the waves okay trying to highlight with the white to give the kind of light refraction coming in uh, you can see more and more highlights here this is i guess third second layer which is going on for the water i'll be doing couple of more layers on top of it for the further detailing the bounds of the water the waves small waves i'm using zero size brush because this canvas is also very small like 12 inches by 16 inch canvas which is relatively small canvas which i usually use so the detailing which i'm doing is with the zero size a round brush random strokes to show the random flow of the water near to beach painting the fan of the water with the tidy white um detailing again with the white to give more reflection of the light on water now let's do more detailing back to the ship using the lighter tones to highlight now these are the kind of prominent strokes which basically drawing some lines prominent lines outlines uh, which will kind of give more uh, realistic shape to the ship again the color which i am using 
for lines and like Persian blue and burnham work mixed. In this painting also, I haven't used any black color. I have made black tones using Persian blue and burnt umber in this painting as well. So when you do a detailing uh, with acrylic, the best part is the entire your painting is already dry. So you have that control to keep your hand on the painting and keep on doing the detailing because if it is oil, uh, it takes time and for this kind of detailing, you have to wait for few days to uh, get the paint dry and then do otherwise you have to use a stick for the support, uh, supporting your hand. Um, I feel very free when I do painting with acrylic. Uh, so it gives more control. You can see I'm applying one more layer on what I already painted on the projection or the front side of uh, chip. Somehow I was not very happy with the way it was painted earlier. So I'm doing one more layer, which basically you can see the tones which I'm using is bringing that ship projection very very uh, prominently and near to the view and it's giving more 3d kind of a uh, 3d kind of uh, image which is coming towards the land now once this is done, I'll be using burn umber and orange mix to do a rust on this portion of ship. highlights with darker tone there are some lines prominent lines to give more clear view of the ship Let's see I'm doing the burn umber and orange shades to give the rust effect or the aged or the old shape kind of a feeling so we are already come into the end of this painting I hope you must enjoy it and learn something out of this 
how to do a sea how to do ship and like far and mountains and the sky so thank you very much guys for watching this youtube video please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you will get all my videos notification whenever i do a upload a new video thank you very much